Hi, I'm Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report, and we are here for day two of the Creative Arts Emmys. <laughs> uh, what were some of the big challenges in working on the series in terms of production design? I think that the, you know just the scope and the scale of the show was 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 the biggest thing that any of us had ever done. I mean, the size of the sets, trying to match the integrity and the realism of what was known to you know a lot of people around the state of New York and around the country. Um, I think it was just you know it was, a, it was it was overwhelming. Just keeping up with the with the length of the shoot and the size of what we were doing, the number of toilets and sinks that are lovely. <laughs> How many toilets and sinks? 47. <laughs> oh, I love that she has the accurate number. Exactly. Of course I do. And they all have to look alike, don't they? Yeah. Where do you get 47 vintage prison sinks? Prison toilets. Yes, yeah. Where do you get them? Tell us. From a prison in Pittsburgh. <laughs> that was shutting down. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Fascinating. How did you track that down? Because that's what I want to know. I'm like, how do you get to the place where you know that a prison's shutting down and you're going to grab their toilets? <laughs> we actually shot there uh, for the exterior. Yeah part of you know the interior of the walls but the exterior yeah. and so when we went and scouted we realized let's steal everything they have <laughs> you're like it's a gold mine it was a, it was a dirty job but somebody had to <laughs> you're like you it wasn't me <laughs> i was like who's like you're gonna be in charge of toilets and sinks could you imagine having to rip out 47 toilets that had been there for a hundred years with prisoners doing their business. <laughs> I, the thought? And then when we were shooting, the extras that we had, we had to convince them that they were not actual oh, toilets because it's the that's another compliment. story. But when somebody actually <laughs> uses the toilet on set wow. because it looks so real. <laughs> You're like, you it's all the time. Did a good job. <laughs> This interview just went in a direction I didn't think was really? going. How many more are you going to have like this? <laughs> I know. None. I, I, I guarantee you. <laughs> nothing else will be like this. Um, what was your favorite overall look? Is there a scene where you look at, at the work you did and you think, we really accomplished something incredible? Sure. I'm going to say the uh, prison block. I mean, the whole re recreating an entire prison block was probably the biggest challenge. Not to mention all the tunnels that we had to do, endless tunnels, recreating tunnels. But the prison block, I think, was the biggest challenge. You know, recreating at, you know, the bars to look exact. We had we had gone into a, a prison and we had, we weren't allowed to take pictures for research, so we had to do it all from memory, pretty much. Oh, wow. Yeah, and so there were some news clip pictures that we had seen from the real escape that we could use for research, but uh, but we weren't able to do any measuring or anything. So it was all kind of trying to feel it. And, and make it make it match from our memory, from our scout. It's kind of incredible that they didn't allow you to take any photos. Is it a security thing? They don't want other prisoners to get ideas? I think so. Yeah. I mean, even you know, we, they, they already broke out once, so why, like, <laughs> you know. We can do it again, a little bigger this time. Yeah, exactly. No, I think that there was just, you know, there were serious concerns. We were in an actual functioning maximum security prison with, with, with murderers. <laughs> Scary people. What did you learn about the prison system that you didn't previously know? Many things. Well, yeah, Any, okay. Anything shocking? Um, you know, one of the things that was surprising me, not about the prison system, but the particular prison that we were recreating, was how nice it was. <laughs> I mean, outside of the cells. I mean, it was a, it was, it happens to be a, a, a it, it, it owns a, a plot of territory with with beautiful vistas, and they keep up the the, the place. And it was we got, we had the opportunity to meet the uh, the staff and the warden, and and they worked with us to you know ensure that we were doing everything um, within you know a realm of, of respectability and and accuracy. And and um, it was just a fascinating experience the entire job. Sounds like a wild time. I love it, you guys. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> I know. Although. We won't have one. Right. We could do a season two from the woman who got caught doing the same oh, yes, thing exactly. that Tilly Well, that did. was something we learned. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had an advisor when we, after uh, Joyce Mitchell, the character that Patricia plays in the show, in the tailor shop that we also recreated, um, the woman that took her place was, and was an advisor to Patricia and to us, was caught doing... The exact same thing. What happens to people? <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's like some sort of mental... Yeah. <laughs> Because that seems so absurd to me, but obviously it's not. Yeah. Lightning struck twice. Exactly. <laughs> all right, congratulations. Go Thank get that you. Emmy Thank for all those toilets and sinks. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> you guys, have fun. Thank you. Thank you.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite television moment was this year.